Go ahead and take your bags off for me, please. Right now, you are trespassing on private property. Do you have any weapons on you? No. No? All right, go ahead. Take all that off. Set to the side. I'm just going to pack it down for all the safety. You want me to take the belt off? Yep. What's going on fellas? We are here in the Galveston Ship Channel today. Trying out a little spot that I did pretty good at last year. Uh, we're on a flounder mission, man. We're gonna see if we can get on them. I got my boy T-Bone with me over here. It's been a minute, man. We go back to the sandbox. That's my boy from back in the day. But uh, I'm gonna see if we can put them on some flounder today and uh, Hopefully we get on them and get a good video for you guys, but we'll catch up with y'all as soon as we get some daylight because it's kind of dark right now. We're trying to get out here and get this early morning bite. All right, guys. I'm on one. I just had a thump. I'm gonna give him a second. Y'all ready? Yo, baby. He might make it. He might make it. That's the first one, man, but he was just a hair shy. I have to let him go. Get on another one. Let me give y'all a little rundown of what I'm using today. I got this Laguna Custom Rod. It's a Trident 6.5. And I got a loose Custom Light on there. And I'm throwing this uh, Savage Gear Shrimp. This is a, a RTF 3D shrimp. Uh, I believe it's one fourth of an ounce. And all I got is uh, about three foot of leader line, 20 pound on a 30 pound braid. And that's it, man. Just throwing it out there, working it, slow, slow cadence, just bouncing it off the bottom. This Savage Gear shrimp I'm throwing is about three and a half inches, so it's a little larger than the Voodoo's. So sometimes I give them a little bit just to help them swallow it. He feels small though. I'm gonna go ahead and set it. Look at him, he took off. Yeah, I don't know, he might make it. He looks about the same size as the other one. That other one was right right on it, but I want a little over, man. I ain't trying to be stingy. Well, guys, look like we got in some trouble. Doing all right, y'all. I'm Officer Pierce, Port of Galveston Police. This is Officer Ty, Port of Galveston Police. Go ahead and take your bags off for me, please. Right now, you are trespassing on private property. Do you have any weapons on you? No. No? All right, go ahead. Take all that off. Set it to the side, please. I'm just going to patch it down for officer safety. Want me to take the belt yep. off? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Again, I'm just going to patch it down. I'm not searching. Go ahead. Just make sure you're verifying you don't have any weapons <clears> on you. No, man, we're just out here fishing, man. All right. Like I said, you are on private property. So you didn't and see the, uh, the fence that you deliberately drove around to get over here? Honestly, it was dark when we got here, but I fish here every year, man. I do YouTube videos here. All right. Um, and like I said, you are on private property. Well, that's not a problem. We can leave, man. Like I said, we do YouTube videos here every year, man. We didn't know it was a... That's fine. You got I mean, even last year... Uh, 
in there. Go ahead. Yeah, even last year there was like 30 of us out here. So that's new, new, new information to me, man. Yeah, we got a couple, but nothing to keep. We had to throw them back. They were a little shy. 137, by number. Is that your vehicle over there, sir? Yes, sir. He had already told us, but I wanted to verify. Yeah, no, that's my truck. Everything correct on your license, sir? Correct. Address is correct? Everything's current, yeah. Do you have any warrants or anything? No, sir. Okay. All right. Um, like I said, this private property, as long as you come back clear, you're going to be free to go okay. this time. This is just going to be a verbal warning. All right. But however, if there is a next time, it's going to turn into the next step. Okay? All right. No, that's fine. We can make it up down the road, man. We'll go somewhere else. Can I put this back in there or no? Yes, Yeah, man, like I said, we come out here every year and do videos, man. The flounder run's about to start right now, and we just yeah, usually, trying to get on them early, man. Usually we'll cite or, or go to jail just because you deliberately drive around a fence and firm, but we're going to keep Well, where we came in at, there was no fence, but like I said, I mean, we, we, we come here every year. I didn't even see anything that said no trespassing yeah, or they, nothing. They recently put a berm right there where you guys came in. I saw the tire tracks. Oh, the dirt hill? The dirt hill? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I thought they were trying to level that out. I didn't know what was going on, but yeah. Nah, I'm good, brother. If I had a warrant, I'd go ahead and let you take me right now. I wouldn't waste the time. Let's go. <laughs> hey, y'all could have gave us at least another hour. We were on them, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Right. Alright y'all, y'all are free to go, like yeah, I said. Good. However, if there is a next time, it's gonna gonna proceed to the next No, nah, it won't be a next time, time brother. Okay? Appreciate it, man. Yes sir. You have a good one. You as well. Good luck to you. I'm gonna try further down by Sea Wolf. There's no fences. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> Uh, I'll be honest with you, we killed them here last year. That's why we're here now, you know what I mean? Well, just to let you know, they're about to put in a huge uh, facility here. That's why. Oh, okay. They're about to put in uh, natural gas. But we can still fish here by boat, right? By boat, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, we, come, we come by boat too, but right now the boat's yeah. in the shop, man. So. Y'all yeah, can use your boat, y'all can small. anchor, y'all can use a trolling motor. As long as you're not tied off to the uh, any land structure. So we can anchor off and wade. Yes, sir. All right. All sounds right. good. All right. I'll be back doing it that way then. There's a loophole for y'all. Okay. Always is. Okay. All right. We don't check a fishing license. So yep. no. I got that too, brother. I'm all good. Yeah. Trust me. I'm actually good, a fishing man. guide, man. So, are you? Okay. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah. Sorry to pull y'all out here, man. Right. Well, we got that gate open for y'all, so we'll call y'all out. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all. Yeah, so for those of y'all that know that spot, man, Looks like y'all ain't gonna be able to go back there this year. Supposedly they're uh, building something there right now. And that's why there's no trespassing. That's what the police officers told us. But uh, yeah, we didn't see a sign, man. When we got there, it was still dark outside and there wasn't a sign there. They showed us one that was a little further up from when we came in, but I thought that was to the plant. Anyways, uh, they ended up being okay. They started off a little frisky, man. They started patting my boy T-Boom down, asking us if we had weapons or whatnot. But I think once they saw that GoPro going, they kind of eased up a little bit and started being cool. But uh, it is what it is, man. I mean, we ain't supposed to be back there. We know now. Got him. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that one to keep for sure. Nice little thumb. Hopefully this one's good. Mm. 
na mao Guys, I got another one, but I think he's small, man. Yeah, little bitty one. All right, guys. So this one felt good. Either that, or I'm just real excited. But I'm, I'm, I'm hoping this is a nice one right here. But it stopped my lure dead in its track. All right, I'm gonna go on and set it. Got him. And he's all right. I guess I got so used to them chips. Yeah. <laughs> that that, yeah, I got so used to them chips, that one felt huge, but I don't know, he might make it. I'm on another one. Hopefully this one to keep, man. Been having a lot of small ones. Where you at? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Nah, he's shy too small all right guys i don't know if y'all can see that but after catching a bunch of flounder man you're lying to get real frayed up and uh it's always good to cut all that excess off and tie off again man because if you catch a big one and he snaps it man let me tell you y'all know that feeling it's disappointing little bitty one I get a lot of questions on where to target flounder and you know how do you know where they're at well first of all man if you just do enough research you you can find areas where there's flounder but you want to fish in stuff that's near channels and a lot of structure I mean you'll find them in the sand beds too but if you do enough research online you'll figure it out and also uh I think one of the most important things is find the bait. When you see the bait, when you see bait jumping, and whether it be shrimp, finger mullet, whatever, shad, throw right into that bait. And uh, chances are you're going to land one or you're going to land something because something's chasing it. But again, look for that bait, throw it right in the middle, bounce, bounce, bounce. And just like they're chasing that stuff, they're going to hit your lure. See if I can get on this last one, man. I got one more for a limit. It's early in the game, man. It's only September 27th, guys. So this flounder run really hadn't even started yet, but I damn near got a limit already. And ain't nobody out here, just us two, man. So y'all want to get a little practice in, come on down now. They're here already. Right in the middle of all that bait. I don't know if y'all saw all that jump. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. I'm on another one. Hopefully this one's bigger. Been going through a lot of small chips, man. He feels solid. We'll see. Some of these chips been strong. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh God, he was just a hair, a hair under, man. They're all like right there, but. I'm letting go. There you go. Go on, get out of here. They're all right here in this little channel, man. Right against the sandbar. It looks like they're feeding on some bait that I've been seeing busting over here. He ain't getting away this time. Y'all ready? Got him. There we go. Yes, sir. guys got one that followed me right up to my feet oh yeah he gonna keep for sure yes sir yes sir yeah and here I was thinking we was gonna get skunked today and get messed with by the cops. God is good. Yeah, this one's gonna keep. All right, guys. But this one right here is about 16 and a half, 17. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I don't wanna go home empty handed, man. I wanna make some fish tacos. All I need is one. All I need is one. I don't want no chips. All right, guys. So this is what we ended up with. We got five nice ones, man. I was about one away from, from a limit. I should have kept one of them ones earlier. They were right on the money, but you know how it goes. Anyways, uh, it's still pretty early. That run hadn't started yet, but they're starting to trickle in. And, uh, don't worry, we're going to catch up with y'all again. We're going to do another video here pretty soon. Hopefully these cold fronts will start running in. But uh, I may come back tomorrow, not sure yet. But anyways, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. <clears throat> drop a comment, hit the subscribe button, and y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to get on them this year. Y'all take it easy. Later. Before I forget, today's lesson. Don't trespass. <laughs> and... If you got a GoPro or a phone, turn the camera on and they'll go easy on you. All right, guys, first and foremost, man, I don't want this to come across as a, a video that's made to maybe make police look bad or anything like that. That's not the case at all. Uh, if anything, let it be a learning experience. Um, throughout my history with the police, man, you know, I've had some good and some bad. Uh, this one in particular started a little bad. I didn't get most of that on camera. Uh, you can see a little bit of in the beginning when my buddy T-Bone has his hands in the air. When they got there, they came uh, they came in pretty hot, man. And, uh, you know, asked him to show his hands and, you know, hands on their pistols and whatnot. And, uh, you know, they frisked them down. They frisked me down. But I think once they realized that the GoPro was going, you know, their demeanor changed. And that was the purpose of me turning it on, man. It wasn't to catch him in the act. It was just to, I guess, de-escalate the situation. You know, I kind of heard some things being said as I was walking over there that uh, drew it to my attention that, hey, I probably need to turn this camera on. But uh, yeah, it was a good call, man. Uh, again, man, I don't want it to come across as, you know, these were some bad cops. Uh, I've had my, my own encounters with good and bad cops. I think cops are just like any ordinary people man you got good people and you got bad people so you can't judge them all but uh i don't know it could have been you know these guys were green at what they were doing I, I don't know for whatever reason they were spooked uh i mean typically you would think that 
two guys wade fishing in the water ain't gonna have pistols on them or you know they're murderers or whatnot but i don't know for for all i know man them guys could have ran into people like that before who knows uh i guess bottom line what i'm saying is man this uh it definitely could have went differently but i think as a learning lesson man if you just have a little bit of respect for officers and you know tell them yes sir no sir you show them the respect typically they'll show it to you back at least most of the time i'd like to think they do that uh sometimes they won't man but you know just kind of keep you cool and you know things will typically end good for you man and in this case it did man they were cool at the end and they let us go and we went on about our business man and we still ended up getting on some fish but uh just so you guys know man i know a lot of guys go fishing at that spot as I mentioned to them, dude, I mean, last year I did four videos there, uh, four good videos, man, and you know, we never got any trouble. There were several vehicles out there, uh, probably 30 people fishing out there, boats and waders. Um, but I mean, I learned my lesson now, man. I mean, that uh, property got bought out by a company, so now there's no trespassing there. We didn't see a no trespassing sign. They said there was one on a sign that was, I guess, a little further up from where we came in at but I, I was under the assumption you know that entry gate was for that plant next to it but anyways man long story short you know they were cool about it at the end and uh we didn't get in any trouble man so heads up man i wouldn't try going out there this year unless you're going out by boat but yeah let this be a lesson man be careful out there fellas anyways man y'all stay tuned